Hi folks, welcome to the amazing education channel and why we can't just allow homeless to roam the streets why it really needs to be improved situation now of course everyone is an individual and you can't assume somebody is guilty they need to be considered probably innocent before proven guilty but the deal is homeless make a terrible mess with trash and often don't clean it up so with cameras and in person we can find out who is trashing the planet the reason is when they throw trash all over the place then it often blows away into our waterways and gets into the um, areas with brush or the woods even into the ocean and it gets into the sewers and then it poisons our water supply and um, of course it's expensive to house homeless who are most often um, mentally ill or have some kind of personality illness or disorder so you know it's it's difficult we might need to spend money just following them even have cleaning robots in the future cleaning up the environment so that maybe the homeless could wander around and they could even be taken care of in some way by uh, wandering solar powered drones that you know like street cleaners but they're cleaning anywhere but right now we have a big problem with the trash those who can think straight of course do their best to clean up businesses want to keep areas clean but there are a lot of places that they don't notice take a look and uh, criminals like smokers of course throw their cigarette butts everywhere and you know so if you're one of these kind of people throwing your cigarette packs people look at smokers they look down on the smokers so if you're one of these smokers people both revile or uh, they pity you but also dislike what you're doing to the environment yes it's poisonous poisons your body and poisons the water and the ground that we grow vegetables and crops on in and so it causes a lot of trouble and just be aware people know that you're out there causing trouble for everybody hurting our health and hurting your own health so anyway good if we help the homeless in however we whatever ways we can do it they obviously need a lot of help if you're an expert it would be good to educate other people about what can be done to stop this terrible problem but we also need to reduce the population so the number of homeless people and I'm talking about the global population by having reduced family size. Just two children, one children per family, uh, voluntarily. And um, even have a voluntary uh, parental licensing program so that people can figure out, should they be having children? Do they have the correct resources to take care of the children properly? For example, if they're disabled and so on. So uh, we got to take take these things into consideration because the level of pollution that we have right now is so great that multiple millions of people are dying every year from different types of pollution. A lot of the pollution is coming from wealth wealthy nations like the United States 
but also India, China, many nations, and a lot of wealthy people, for example, driving, driving vehicles, factories, and so on. So they're polluting. We need to have better restrictions on pollution and have the polluters pay, of course, those who are responsible for making the pollution. If it's multiple parties, have different multiple parties pay. But as far as uh, pollution in the oceans and all the trash and plastic, well, a lot of that is coming from the homeless and also tourist areas and uh, where people are having a lot of parties where you have a lot of intoxicated people and uh, it's often tourist areas and also um, where you have a lot of poverty and homelessness. These people, they don't take care of themselves and they don't take care of the environment and got to make them pay to clean things up or have them clean, do the cleaning themselves. And uh, we can't just continue to trash the planet at the same way we are doing. We need the planet, we need to basically to clean things more each day instead of pollute them more each day. Because if you add to the pollution every day to the land, the air, the ocean, then inevitably you get to a point where you have a major crisis because it's increasing every day, day after day, year after year, century after century. If it's always increasing, it's the, the definition of it, pollution is harmful concentration of any particular thing in an area. So we're always increasing this harm so, as I said, each day what we need to do is reduce. Each day we need to make things cleaner and cleaner. The air, clean up the air, clean up the water, and then inevitably we will have a healthy, clean planet. Now, we're headed in that direction with solar panels, wind energy, and also using uh, river turbines, uh, you know, the uh, hydro energy and so on. But we have to do more, we have to do much more and basically outlaw the continuous pollution that we're creating. And since we're not stopping a lot of trash, we need to improve our policing and other restrictions on the creation of trash and where you can dispose of it and so on. We need good disposal methods and also fines and uh, basically people patrolling. We might get to the point where we need environmental police. We already have the EPA or Environmental Protection Agency in the United States, but they don't go around um, policing trash so much. Um, if we have separate police, we, our regular police are busy enough. So we might just need to increase um, activity in certain areas to have things become cleaner. And especially on public land uh, and unclaimed land, we have a lot of trash. And uh, it's sort of a under noticed area it's people are not paying enough attention and then the trash of course can blow around and move around and uh, cause cancer and other illnesses when it gets into our drinking water getting it gets into our food and so on okay well i hope you can take action thanks very much for listening to the amazing education channel uh it's not amazing videos it's just listening and it gives you the ideas that you need not exactly what you think you need to hear but what you actually need to know 
to have a better life, a healthier life, cleaner, safer planet, get rid of these gasoline vehicles, and move over to renewable energy vehicles. Even Aptera, for example, the solar powered Aptera vehicles that you never have to gas up, you never have to recharge the batteries. It's a solar powered vehicle. It's just gonna be wonderful. Almost as good as these Teslas. Those wonderful Tesla vehicles. But remember, we really should be walking and biking, just like I am now walking around for our health and for your health. So you should be walking to work, biking and riding to school, whatever, grocery shopping. And, uh, and hopefully you'll notice a beautiful, clean environment, a nice sunny day in the future. Thank you very much. Take some action. Like, thumbs up, subscribe, and look at the other videos that will help you have a great future.